Hello everyone, my name is Evren Cantuk and I'm a banking executive specialized in private investments and wealth management with 27 years of experience in local and international banks. I graduated from Bikent University Industrial Engineering Department, have an MBA degree from Warwick Business School and an Artificial Intelligence Management Diploma from MIT Sloan School. I'm one of the first bankers in Turkey who has an Angel Investor Certificate from Ministry of Treasury and Finance and also a certificate in ESG Investing from CFA Institute. Today, I will speak about use of artificial intelligence in finance and how to invest in artificial intelligence projects in the health sector. However, I will not make the speech myself. No, actually I will speak. But who you will watch in the next five minutes will be the AI version of myself. Interesting, isn't it? If we are talking about artificial intelligence, I just wanted to demonstrate a small but practical example of how AI can revolutionize what we already do today. So I prepared this full speech using artificial intelligence. I asked ChatGPT to prepare the text for my speech, used Murph.ai to generate a real human voice from this text, and produced a speech video with my face using d-id.com. Now let's listen to this 5-minute speech from my AI version on the use of artificial intelligence in finance and how to invest in artificial intelligence projects in health sector. Following this AI speech, I will share my experience during preparing this video. Hope you find it interesting. Hello everyone. Today I will speak about use of artificial intelligence in finance and how to invest in artificial intelligence projects in health sector. I want to make a funny start and tell you a joke on investment bankers, artificial intelligence, and health sector. Before I start, I would like to remind you that this joke is for entertainment purposes only and should not be taken as a financial advice. An investment banker walks into a hospital cafe and sees an AI radiologist sitting at a table, staring at a screen with medical images on it. The investment banker approaches the AI and says, Hey, what are you working on? The AI looks up and says, I'm analyzing medical scans. It's going to revolutionize the diagnosis process. The investment banker raises an eyebrow and says, Really? Can you create something similar for stock markets as well? The AI replies, Oh, I can. In fact, I am also developing an algorithm that can predict stock market trends with high accuracy. It's going to change the way people invest. The investment banker asks with great interest, wow, that's impressive. So, how many different investments are in your portfolio? The AI says, only one investment. The banker is confused and asks, so your algorithm could end up with only one investment. How can that be a successful investment portfolio? The AI replies, after analyzing billions of investments data, the result shows me that there is only one winning strategy, invest in artificial intelligence and radiology. Was it funny? Thank you. I am honored to be here today to speak on the topic of AI in banking and investments. As an investment professional, I have a unique perspective on how AI can be used to improve the financial industry, as well as, how people can invest in the artificial intelligence projects in the health sector. AI in banking and investments is becoming more prevalent, and it is being used in a variety of ways. From robo-advisory and fraud detection to trading and portfolio management, AI is helping to improve efficiency and reduce costs in the financial industry. For example, AI-powered robo-advisors can analyze vast amounts of data and make investment recommendations, while AI-based fraud detection systems can analyze transaction data to identify and flag suspicious activity. The investment perspective on AI in banking and investments is also quite positive. There is a lot of investment going into this field, with key areas such as robo-advisory, fraud detection, and trading attracting a lot of attention. I believe that there is a lot of potential for future growth in this field, and it is an attractive area for investment. One of the most exciting areas of AI is in healthcare. The application of AI in healthcare has the potential to revolutionize patient care and improve outcomes. There are several ways to invest in companies that use AI in the healthcare sector. One way is through buying shares of publicly traded companies that are developing AI-based products or services in healthcare. Here are top three examples of large publicly traded companies that are investing in healthcare artificial intelligence, AI. 1. NVIDIA, 
NVDA a technology company that develops AI and data center technologies. NVIDIA's healthcare division provides AI-powered solutions for medical imaging and drug discovery. 2. IBM IBM a technology company that provides a wide range of products and services, including AI and cloud computing. IBM's Watson Health division uses AI to analyze patient data and improve diagnostic accuracy. 3. General Electric GE a conglomerate that provides a wide range of products and services, including healthcare. GE Healthcare uses AI to improve imaging and diagnostic accuracy, as well as to optimize hospital operations. The second most important way of investing in healthcare AI projects is through investing in venture capital funds that focus on healthcare AI startups. For example, Atomwise, which is using AI to accelerate drug discovery, and Zephyr Health, which is using AI to improve the sales and marketing process for pharmaceutical companies. Some examples of venture capital funds that focus on healthcare AI startups include GV, formerly Google Ventures, invested $120 million in the healthcare AI startup page.ai in 2020. Lux Capital invested $20 million in the healthcare AI startup page.ai in 2020. 8VC invested $15 million in the healthcare AI startup viz.ai in 2021. NGP Capital invested $14 million in the healthcare AI startup Clara Health in 2021. It's worth noting that these are just a few examples and the healthcare AI industry is constantly evolving with new startups and investment opportunities. Speaking about VCs, I also want to share five advices for healthcare AI startups looking to raise funding through venture capital. 1. Build a strong team with a mix of industry experts and AI specialists. 2. Develop a clear go-to-market strategy and demonstrate traction. 3. Highlight the potential cost savings and efficiency improvements that your technology can bring to the healthcare industry. 4. Show how your technology is differentiated from existing solutions and address potential regulatory challenges. 5. Network with venture capitalists and other industry players to build relationships and awareness of your startup. For the investors choosing to invest in healthcare technology, a third option is through investing in healthcare-focused exchange-traded funds, ETFs, that hold a basket of healthcare companies, including those that use AI. For example, Global X Health and AI ETF, THNQ, and Global X Robotics and Artificial Intelligence ETF, BOTZ, are examples of funds that hold a basket of companies involved in healthcare AI. THNQ Fund tracks the Inc.'s Global Healthcare Artificial Intelligence Index. It holds companies that are involved in medical research, drug development, medical devices, and other healthcare-related industries that are likely to benefit from the use of artificial intelligence. BOTZ Fund tracks the INC's Global Robotics and Artificial Intelligence Thematic Index. It holds companies that are involved in the development and manufacture of robots and other forms of automation, as well as companies that are involved in the development and application of artificial intelligence technologies. There are many other investment opportunities, especially when seeking investment to healthcare AI startups, like angel investment, crowdfunding, incubators, and accelerators. However, while considering healthcare AI startups as an investment, people need to consider all risks and opportunities. I see a lot of opportunities in this field, such as the development of new technologies, business models, and job creation. However, as with any new technology, there are also challenges to be faced. Regulatory compliance, data privacy, ethical concerns, as well as new disruptive technologies in the competition are just a few of the issues that need to be addressed. In conclusion, I believe that AI in banking and investments has a lot of potential to improve the financial industry, especially in healthcare sector. As an investment professional, I have a unique perspective on how AI can be used to improve the financial industry and how people can invest in the artificial intelligence developments in the health sector. Thank you very much for listening me. I was the artificial intelligence version of Evren Kanturk and now I am leaving the microphone to the real human version of Evren Kanturk to share the experience of my creation. Many of you may be wondering how long it took to prepare this AI video. I can say that it was generated in just seconds or minutes. It took me 2-3 to three hours, which I believe is still relatively short. The idea for this video began with ChatGPT. I initially asked for examples of healthcare AI investments from ChatGPT and then began asking various questions about the topic, which I had ChatGPT organized into written form. I then requested that ChatGPT write the content in a speech tone. 
I provided a brief introduction of myself and ChatGPT added it to my speech. I also asked for a joke about the topic as an opening, which took about an hour to generate and make relevant to my speech topic and professional tone. Interestingly, I came across a LinkedIn post that shared a text-to-speech AI website called Murph.ai, which generates realistic human speech. I passed my speech text into Murph and made a few adjustments to pauses and voice types. The result was quite impressive. With the audio speech ready, I needed a good application to convert it into a video. There are many AI applications you know that can do this, but I recently discovered d-id.com, which adds your audio to your face, making it appear as if you are speaking. The process was simple, the trial was free, and the result was again very impressive. Overall, the entire video of my speech was created easily thanks to three AI websites that are readily accessible to everyone. This is just a small example of how AI can assist us in our daily work or personal needs. It's exciting to imagine how artificial intelligence can transform how businesses are managed across various industries. I have great respect for the entrepreneurs driving this progress. In closing, I encourage all of you to continue learning more about this topic and explore how you can contribute to development and implementation of AI, especially in healthcare and investments in healthcare. Thank you.